So what we're looking at here is a one-fifth scale model to test the proof of concept of putting a man inside of a raptor suit. And the man that you're seeing right now is a model of me, John Rosengrant. I was inside the raptor costume along with uh, Mark Crash McCree. He was in another raptor. And what you're looking at right now is what the girls are doing is they're cutting up out of, out of foam and L200 a mock-up or a really elaborate garbage bag test of Raptor and I call it a garbage bag test because that dates back to when we did aliens for Jim Cameron we can we actually constructed a queen alien full-size out of garbage bags and foam core similar to this but to prove that uh, proof of concept and what we're doing right here is the same thing it's just a little bit more elaborate version and if you frame out this figure from about the knees down you can kind of see how it was going to be used and in the film there's a there's there's several scenes where it's used there there's two of them walking in the kitchen and, and we did exactly what we're talking about framing it out from the knees down here's some tests of it running so it's very organic and it was very mobile So it was trying to figure out all the ways to make this stuff work. Right now you're looking at a kind of an elaborate test of a neck mechanism that Stan had come up with. It was very clever. You can see Stan's kind of working on, with me, part of this chicken head bird-like movement. And inside of it I actually had rods that controlled the basic head move and tilt and, and turn. And so all of this was being refined during this process. And the idea was that the eyes and the jaw and the arms on it would end up being radio controlled. But here's the beginnings of getting that sort of bird-like head movement. Crash is, and Stan are joking around with, but what we were doing is trying to work out the range of movement. And Stan's doing other things. <laughs> Always the joker. But at this point, what you're seeing is Crash and I would train together and, and get ready for this. But at this point, there's rough skins on this. We're really starting to refine, you know, how it's going to work, get control of the head. <laughs> and at this Avoid point, I think I may have control over the jaw. I'm not, you know, to be honest, I can't remember if that ended up being separate or not, or if we ended up controlling. No, I actually do remember now we have control over the jaw and the head moves you can see it's come a long way since the very first test here it's very mobile now these are the legs for the scene which was attached to the whole suit where I step in the doorway and it stands up and it starts hooting for the other raptor to come in in the kitchen here it is with the paint is getting you know, closer and more finalized, starting to really start to look like something at this point. And later we ended up getting the RC arms working to get a bit of motion there. We got a bit of blink. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this exclusive peek behind the scenes into uh, the making of the Raptor suit for Jurassic Park. It's fun for me to look at this after all these years. It was quite a personal challenge, you know, physically very uh, demanding to be in these suits, but very rewarding to be part of this groundbreaking historic film.